My name is Salvatore Mascia. I'm the founder and CEO of Continuous Pharmaceutical. Continuous Pharmaceutical is an MIT spin-out company which has developed a novel continuous manufacturing process for producing pharmaceutical on demand, much more efficiently, quicker, a significant reduced cost and with better quality. The technology was initially developed at MIT within the Novartis MIT Center for Continuous Manufacturing. A 10-year uh, collaboration between Novartis and MIT was objective was to completely uh, redesign the way we uh, develop and manufacture pharmaceutical. I was involved within the Novartis MIT Center since its inception, working directly with Professor Bernard Trout, who is the current director, and we develop an, um, a new set of process technology that run continuously, which can now be applied to many pharmaceuticals. And so our first implementation at MIT in the research lab were, was extremely successful, and that made me convinced that there was a huge opportunity for a novel startup company now to get out there, license the technology from MIT, and make sure that this is available to the broader pharmaceutical industry. So the way pharmaceuticals are produced right now is through a sequence of very long and segmented steps done in batches. You can run a reaction in a large vessel, you extract your product, need to be tested, validated, and so forth, then you move to the next step for another intermediate. At the end, in your chemical facility, you produce an active pharmaceutical ingredient. This then needs to be transported to other facilities when it gets formulated, made into tablets, coated, and finally sold. This is a very long and expensive step. So what we did is basically to redesign an over-process technology that allowed the integration of all these steps in one single solution. So for us, continuous manufacturing means starting from raw material, going down to a final pharmaceutical product in one single solution, in one process, if you like, which is fully automated, which runs 24 hours a day, 365 days per year, under fully automated control. That's through this continuous operation and automation that drug can be produced much faster and a significantly reduced cost. This can be used for any drug which is basically chemically made. We are applying this to any type of small molecule pharmaceutical. The reason why that has never been really uh, done before is because there has not been financial pressure within the pharmaceutical company to make this change. Pharmaceutical company has always been running very high margins through blockbuster drug and cost of manufacturing has been always a small portion. Things have been changed in the last decade with the uh, in incoming uh, product of generic pharmaceutical, looking a more like a type of uh, specialized type of therapy which require manufacturing processes which need to be produced this pharmaceutical much more effectively. So the entire business model of the pharmaceutical industry has changed and now those cost of manufacturing, those efficiencies are becoming critical and that's why there is a huge trend now in investing in novel uh, manufacturing of pharmaceutical. An example of how much faster we can produce a drug to this technique rather than in batch is very clear through the work that we did at MIT on the aliskiran emifumarate, a drug for high blood pressure. This product has a lead time of like 200 days from beginning to the end. We were able to cut down this in two days, 48 hours. So think about this, a reduction on process lead time of more than 90%. This is a real transformation for the pharmaceutical industry. It will enable to produce pharmaceutical on demand. So absolutely, so but basically we, our projections show that the reduction in cost of goods or cost of manufacturing could be like greater than 50%. So if you think about that uh, for pharmaceutical industry, uh, we're reaching a trillion uh, uh, dollars in total revenue with 200 billion in cost of manufacturing, we could save potentially 100 billion a year in cost of manufacturing to the entire industry by applying this technique. 